previous video on the shed build, um, we had the purlins on and it was a, a bit of a skeleton. Um, now we're starting to put the iron on, so let's see how it evolves. So the insulation goes on first and the iron goes on top of that. The insulation will be good because if it's a hot day it'll keep the shed a little bit cooler and vice versa if it's a, if it's a bit chilly it'll uh, keep the shed a little bit warmer. Um, and the other benefit is that it will reduce the amount of condensation and in fact it should eliminate the condensation. You right there Jack? Yeah. Oh hang on mate. Give your hand. Alright, now we are so we got all of this all of the south side of the roof on and the boys have just put the first uh, sheet of iron on the wall that's good great start I reckon Joshua all good we're getting it on now, mate. It was excellent, wasn't it? 3.8 was exactly the right height, wasn't it? I almost told you the length, did I? <laughs> you must have. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyway, so what I meant by that was that when I was designing the shed, I didn't know how far up under the eaves the wall sheets would have to go, so I made a guess of 3.8 metres, and it turned out to be centimetre perfect. Sometimes you can have a win. <laughs> it was amazing. Rocketing through this side. Good progress, really good. Where, where do you, which wall do you want to do next? What do you want to do next? Probably do. You want to go down there? Yeah, I'll come down here. Yeah, right on. So you want some more sheet sport around the other side? That'd be best, wouldn't it? Yeah. Bring me when Jack is this off the source. I'll do the same again. Yeah, well, there's a couple of saw horses there, oh, yeah. so I can get started. Yeah. Yeah. Love them. Right up. Thank you. I'll see how much we got. We got to get done today. I said we're not here to f donkeys. No, I'm not going to be out. Ten and twenty. Ten and three. Yep. Yep. So rain stopped play again. What's new? <laughs> but anyway, we got going again. Um, and the boys have got this side on and uh, so we've got three sides on now, which is really good. Uh, <coughs> the board modules will be arriving this afternoon about 4 or 4.30 apparently, according to the truck driver. So hopefully that's about right. Jeff will be here with his tractor to lift them off. Um, and we'll be able to at least get them in under cover under the, under the roof. We might not get them into their final position today, but we'll see how we go. Uh, I must admit, got to dip my lid to Josh and Brad because they've had to do a fair bit of it by themselves because Jack's been crook and Sarah and I have been doing a few other farm jobs um, so it's been pretty hard going for, for Brad and Josh um, but you know they're pretty resourceful and they're real problem solvers and nothing's too much trouble and they take a lot of pride in their work so like I said I've just got to dip my lid, it's been great. We have to leave this bay open to get the board modules in. Uh, they're only an hour or so away with a bit of luck. Won't have quite as much room at the back there for the sheep on the grating as, um, as some sheds. Won't be quite enough to hold those shearing. That's okay, um, we'll work on that. We'll that skillion in a year or two's time, we might be able to sort that out. So the trucks arrived with the board modules and I got so excited that I forgot to turn the sound on on the camera. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, um, so I'll have to do this voiceover, so bear with me, please. So we were a little bit worried because it was supposed to rain this afternoon, um, and if it had have rained, it would have made the, st uh, the creek banks very slippery, and it would have been very difficult for this truck to get through the creek. Anyway, fortunately, the rain's held off so far, and by the look of it, he's going to get through all right. And down he goes, and we'll see how he goes. And yep, that's all good. He's making it up the other side all right. Doesn't look like there's going to be any problem. Still plenty of water in the creek. Um, it's very nice to see. 
So the module on the back trailer there weighs about a tonne and the ramp that's stacked on the top of it uh, is probably three or four hundred kilos. So we're not quite sure whether or not Jeff's tractor will be able to lift that by itself. It's not that it can't lift one and a half tonnes, it's just that the weight is a fair way out on the forks and that adds a fair bit of leverage and it's actually very difficult for the hydraulics to handle. And as it turns out that's exactly the case, so we're going to have to get the little tractor to help out. But before we do that we'll reposition the truck so that uh, the module's a lot closer to where we want it when we lifted it off. The truck driver is very experienced at doing this, he's been doing it for five or six years apparently. Um, so he's giving Jeff and I guidance on what to do. Um, what we're going to do is lift the module up and then he'll drive the truck forward and then we'll put the module down. So that's worked, we've got one off. The second load weighs a fair bit more, maybe one and a half, one and three quarter tonnes. Uh, but there's a pallet load of grating on the front there, so Jeff's going to get that out of the road first. That'll lighten it up a little bit. As it turns out, this is right at the limits for the hydraulics on my little tractor. Um, I can only just lift it a few inches clear of the deck. Um, but anyway, it's enough and we can uh, drive the truck out and we can put it back down and then Jeff will be able to take the top uh, module off. So it's going to work alright. This module is the back pen and it goes against the back wall of the shearing shed. Uh, so we decide that we're going to put that in first, that makes the most sense. So the brain's trying to have a little bit of a confab is the best way to do that. <laughs> the only problem with all that is that once we get it in, uh, we later decide we don't want it in. But anyway, we'll get to that. <laughs> oh dear. So it's easy enough to fork it in lengthwise down to the end of the shed. Uh, and once we get it there, we've got to twist it around a bit so it sits crossways across the shed. That's a bit of a juggle because Jeff hasn't got a real lot of room to manoeuvre the tractor inside the shed. But anyway, he's a clever man and he manages. And would you believe it, while we're doing that it starts to rain. So we decide that as it's pretty late in the day, that's enough for the day and we'll come back, Jeff and I, tomorrow and see what we can do to finish it off. Okay, so this is the next day and we had no more rain but we did... Um get the board a little bit wet. Jeff's come with some rollers which you can probably see at the front and we're going to roll it in hopefully without breaking anything. Righto, off we go. This is um, how the Egyptians move pyramids, maybe. Anyway, it's working, that's the main thing. And we've got Josh in the middle on the scissor lift. all right <laughs> we've got the brains trust here working it out just have to swing it around so we can get the other one in
It's working though. Huh? I said it's working. Yeah. <laughs> the old principle of um, moving stones. So we got that one in, um, and now we're going to try something different for the next one. We're going to try and bring it in with the tractor instead of using the Egyptian method. Dan, Josh was saying, remember you've got to leave room if they're going to do peers, they're going to have to get something in, a bobcat in and out, and get dirt, move dirt in and out. Yeah, that's right. So you've so got to make enough yeah. room for it. We'll have to go inside. Yeah. Okay. This is um, the last module to go in. Get it out of the weather and leave a gap down the middle, hopefully, so we can uh, get some more concrete work done at the back. Dueling tractors. It's looking good. Whoop, there we go. Nearly dropped it. So we've had a little bit of a change of scope. Um, Originally we were going to let, let these modules rest on the bare earth down the back of the shed but after thinking about it we're going to put some concrete footings in. Uh, that'll just make it a little bit more stable and it'll also be a little bit easier to put in. We'll leave the, so we'll leave the modules where they are for the time being. It should be about a week before we can get that uh, concrete laid at the back of the shed. Um, so that's brought you up to date. Um, thanks for watching, really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the video.